What's up guys, it's Fief Chief here and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we have for you episode 8 of the Trading to Team of the Season Aguero series. If you are enjoying the content, please subscribe. Over 85% of you that watch my videos aren't subscribed and it helps me out a ton. Make sure to turn on notifications so that you can get all the up-to-date sniping filters, trading methods, and everything else we do on this channel. And please go check me out on Twitch. It's going to be linked in the description. Same as my YouTube name, just FiefChief49. We try to stream pretty much every day on Twitch, so make sure to go drop us a follow. So with all that said, let's go ahead. Let's jump right into this episode. So guys, today we have a lot for you. As you can see, we're at 36,000 coins, a lot of changes, and I want to show you some items that sold. So we were hitting some bronze packs today, and I actually hit one of the best bronze packs I've ever had. In this one, we ended up getting this silver inform that went and sold for 14,000 coins, which was absolutely massive. So we hit a huge bronze pack. I tweeted the pack itself so you can see it. It was an absolutely huge pool there. So we sold that stuff. We've been selling a ton of stuff lately. Obviously, the transfer list is pretty much full as well. As you can see, we got a lot of stuff going to sell here. So, a lot of coins to still be made there. That'll easily get us to 50,000 coins right there. And this is the team right here. You might be thinking we should probably have a little more coins, but we have made some additions here. So, into the squad, we have... In the midfield position, we picked up the team of the season Fernandinho right here with a shadow on him. We grabbed him for 59.5k right there, so pretty much 60,000 coins for this card. Absolute steal for this card in my opinion, and we got him with a shadow, which was a huge pickup. Insane card here. He's going to be our holding CDM, which is going to be massive for us. And then in goal, we went ahead and we picked up a goalkeeper as well to fit in the team. In goal, we have Neto. Great player right there. 85 rated. We just kind of have him because Allison and Ederson I don't think are really worth it. We might end up just buying Allison now that we have the coins. At the time, I didn't have the coins. But we can start working towards the other end of the team, which is like getting shapeshifters Renato Sanchez. We were going to flip these two around. So you guys have seen that team. If you haven't, go check the past episodes. We have, uh, we've built that team. But this is the team right now. And then all we have to do to finish out this team is if we head over to the objectives here, we need to finish up some objectives so then we can get this Andre Gomes card right here, 91 rated. Um, so we need basically 20,000 XP, which is not difficult actually. So here, let's call that 3,000 right there. Um, right here, we'll call it 2,000, that's 5,000 right there. Out of these, we'll get another 3,000 we can call it. So that's 8,000 and then a bunch of stuff here. So there's a ton of XP to be gained here, plus daily stuff. We can get, what is that, 540 a day, plus a one rare player pack. And th so there's a lot of XP to be gained here. We'll be getting that Andre Gomes very soon here, which will finish up our team, which is really exciting there. As you can see, items are still selling. Transfer list is glitched. I'll have to go back into that later. So yeah, that's how the team is set up right now, and we got some good things that we're going to be able to do this episode. So, like I said, we need to get those objectives done, and I have to play like squad battles games and stuff, so I might do that on stream, is what we're probably going to end up doing, just because I'm not going to do that in a video, nobody wants to watch squad battles, so Gomes will finish out the squad there, and this team looks fantastic, and just to show you how it's going to set up here, um, we're going to go for a 4-2-3-1, it's going to be narrow 4-2-3-1, and then it's going to be... Probably Pulisic out right, Lucas out left, Aguero up top, Mara's at cam. I can't move that slot. No, I can. Fernandinho will be on the left CDM, and then Gomes will be on the right, because Gomes is more of our box-to-box -box guy. So that's how the team is going to set up right there. Going to be good stuff. It'll be, it'll be the same team, pretty much going forward other than we're going to get shapeshifters Renato Sanchez at left back and we're going to get team of the season uh the Brazilian right back from the Turkish league I can't really I can't remember his name but very good right back over there that we're going to pick up and then we also have all these team of the years that we can use as well like right now we can just slot Conte in there it gets good chem so that is the team right now so we have Garincha so I'm gonna probably do the objectives with him and then once we get Cruyff 
we'll do his objectives. Look at that, we're just selling all sorts of stuff right now. As you can see, we're up to 41,000 coins right here. Beautiful stuff. That guy sold for 2.7K. So we're building a good coin balance, and we're going to be able to change our team up a lot in the future if we keep building up these coins. So what I want to get into next is, as you can see, we're at 540 total players in the club. And if I go value high to low, as you can see here, literally the only things in our club is our team, basically. We can sell the players from our old team now, and then it's literally just bronzes. So what we're going to do from here is we're going to take all these bronzes, and in the squad building challenges here, we go to live, and we are going to start putting them all into these bronze upgrades, the new ones that are like better, and then the silver upgrades which we'll then put into the gold upgrades and then as we get more gold upgrades and stuff we'll, we'll be able to do um stuff like the 81 plus double upgrades and stuff in the 82 to 88s to help us try to pack really good players so what i'm gonna do is i'm probably gonna at some point here on stream we're gonna have a big bronze pack and bronze upgrade stream where we'll do that we'll hit a bunch of 81 plus double upgrades so we'll try to kind of upgrade the team with pack luck and we'll keep grinding the, the bronze packs for coins to kind of upgrade the team how it is right now but right now i do really like the team but we're going to be heading into div rivals to try to get some rewards and then squad battles to finish out some objectives so i'll be back with you guys when we do finish up some of that stuff all right guys we are back it's actually been a couple days since i recorded the last part of this episode but we got a lot of different things to show you so First of all, 29 items have sold. We're up to 54,000 coins. So as you can see here, we have a bunch of bronze items that went, and only half of our transfer list is full. So we're going to have to start popping open some bronze packs so that we can list up 50 more items. Um, in terms of objectives, uh, we can show you what we did here. Um, daily objectives I did for the one day that I recorded the first part of the episode, but the rest of this, we did the week three bronze, so we got quite a bit of XP there. Um, next up, we did the Garincha's story, and then I think I completed week three silver, and then something else from another week. I did quite a few objectives, they're just down at the bottom now because they're completed. So yeah, we have the week three bronze, Garincha's story, that completed, and then we have week three silver, and the week four bronze, so we can work on those as well. Um, and then today, objectives that got released, we can get three Team of the Season player packs, which is going to be very exciting. So I'm going to try to get these done. I'm not sure exactly how much time I'm going to have because I've been very busy. But if I complete all of this, I get the, um, the coin boost for 5 times 500 for FIFA 21. So I'll probably do this on my main account instead of on this account, which sucks. But first, so I'll have to do it on both accounts. But yeah, in terms of what we completed in this, the uh, the season progress, we got a Jumbo Premium Gold 26 pack. We also get this Lone Cruyff, so we can do the objectives for him as well. And as you can see, what our main goal is with doing all these objectives was getting to the uh, the Andre Gomes card. And as you can see, we're under 12.5k until we get him, and before we were over like 19k. So we got like 7,000 XP just like that, and there's a ton of XP sitting around here. Like, here's 2,500, here's another 2k, that's 4,500, so there's a lot of XP that's available for us. Going to be able to get a lot of this done, plus if we're able to do these before they expire, some guaranteed team of the seasons here, so we can get those in. So that's very exciting, so let's go ahead, let's pop open these packs here. Coin balance is very healthy, I think we're, we're pretty much there to being able to upgrade the team to the Renato Sanchez left back card. And the um, the Mariano team this season at right back. We get a boards player here, but no walkout. But we'll take it. Italian goalkeeper. We get uh, what's his face here. We get Buffon, 83 rated. Interestingly enough, back at his former club after a short stint at PSG. What else do we get in here? Hasebi, some nice nice SBC fodder that we can throw in to hopefully they release a player that we like there's gonna be like a hopefully a player of the uh, player of the year KDB that gets released but depends if he wins that and I don't even think we'll be able to afford it on this account even when he does get released I don't think we'll uh we'll have the coins for that so nothing in this pack we'll go ahead and skip it here 
Uh, what else are we working with here? Pizarro, 78 rated. And then they also gave us this Lone Icon Moments pack, which there's uh, objectives for also, which I didn't even show. So apparently they're just giving out giving out icons for people to try out here. I think it's five game loans on all these. Yeah, so we get Pele, Zidane, Maldini, Mateus, and Best. Some really good icons there as well. So they released these objectives over here. Let's go ahead and check these out. Iconic interplay for prime gold players pack. And this is really easy. Basically, it's just play three games with the icons that they gave you. And the rest of them, the rest of it's really easy. So a lot of XP we're going to be able to get a prime gold players pack. So I got a lot of things to work towards. It's just I'm very busy in the coming days. So I'm not sure how much of this I'm going to be able to do in objectives. But after like August fit 15th, I'm going to be all done. I'm going to be moved in and everything to the new place. So I'm going to be set to just kind of work on the account and grind this out more on stream with you guys. But guys, that's going to be it for this episode. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.